I'm Joe Williamson and I'm here to tell you about an interesting safety application. So what we have here is one safety relay that's currently linked to auto reset and one safety switch. Now the problem that we had as a customer was that the safety circuit wasn't really setting and it took us quite a long while to work out why and it's worthwhile explaining what we found. So with the auto reset, the safety relay is constantly trying to reset itself. So if we open a door, you'll see that the LEDs have gone off, indicating the safety circuit has been broken. Close the door, both channels of the safety relay come in. If we open the door, but this time we're going to close it very slowly. What you'll see is that the safety channels this time haven't reset. The reason is that the safety relay looks for both channels or both circuits in the safety switch to close within a very small space of time and they didn't so the safety relay has gone into a lockout condition. So an operator may take the guard off, put it into place And there we go, one channel was made before the other and the relay's gone into a lockout condition. If we were to buzz out the cables, we'd find that both switches are made and we don't know what, what the problem is. Now the way over this is to actually rewire this unit into a manual reset mode and I'll show you that now. Okay, so this particular safety relay can be configured to auto or manual reset. Before we had one loop in, which meant auto reset. I've now introduced a reset button, making it into a manual reset type. So this time we shouldn't experience the same problem. So if we open the guard circuit, close it again, press reset, guard resets. If I open up the door, again, close it very slowly or a bit of a funny angle, both. In the auto reset mode that may well have caused us a problem but because it's only looking for a reset when I tell it then the problem's gone away. So there we go it's a bit of a strange one but we got there in the end. Thank you for listening.